Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. So today is the video of the full moon series that I was having some difficulties with. So it's called the worm moon. So I had troubles because I didn't know how to incorporate a worm with the moon. So it took me a little while to figure it out and I think what I ended up doing uh, and creating on this rock certainly looks adorable. So I have to admit I am very, very impressed with myself and actually um, shocked in a way <laughs> that uh, I was able to incorporate these. So it did take a lot of thought process and it did take a lot of, um, can I do this? And uh, a lot of encouragement uh, talking to myself that I could do this. So um, I hope you enjoy it and um, I hope you give it a try if you want. Uh, so just to start off, uh, we painted the black uh, onto the rock for a base coat. So this is uh, De Deco Art Black that I used. And then I used my compass and I drew a circle. And then I found sort of like a center point for the moon and drew a circle on with my General's Charcoal Pencil as well. Then I painted um, white and added in some navy blue while it was still wet so that I could get some um, gradient colors of darks and lights to show uh, depth and shadows, things like that. And then I let it dry. Oh, sorry, before I let it dry, I sponged it out because I really wanted to get those uh, uh, colors to sort of blend together so that I could go in later to put in the details, which is what I'm doing right now. So I'm just using uh, this little sponge that uh, I picked up at Michael's. Um, I really like them because they're smaller than my finger daubers. Unfortunately, they have a limited lifespan. <laughs> so um, I can only use them maybe three or four times because the glue that's on the sponge to hold it to the doweling or to the, the wooden stick doesn't seem to last very long once it's been submerged into water so it's hard to keep them clean but I do really really love them so I think I might go back and uh, buy some more but um, yeah it they worked really great for the moon part um, so then what I did was I used a paintbrush no I used a toothbrush to spray on just white paint uh, all over the rock to give it those little stars that are like far, far, far away, but they've got a glitter. And then I went in with my paintbrush and I just put little daubs here and there. You could use a dotting tool as well. Um, and then I gave one shooting star into that. Uh, so that's basically the background. Now I'm just cleaning up all the mess and the overspray from uh, the paintbrush around on the outside of the rock. And now I'm going to sketch on my worm. So the, I didn't look it up or anything to, um, to see why it's called the worm moon, but this is my theory. So don't take my word for gospel, but this is my theory, is that in March, we're starting to see the temperatures warm up. We're starting to see the earth warm up which is then waking the, um, the worms and they're coming up out of their hibernation deep in the earth and coming to the surface. And in doing so, they're breaking through the ground and gazing up at the full moon. <laughs> it's my theory and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so um, I just, I, I thought it sounded good. It sounded like it made sense. Um, but, uh, if anybody has, uh, taken the time to look it up, or maybe you know why it's called the worm moon, then definitely leave me a comment, uh, below because I'd be really interested. I know I could look it up myself, but I just, uh, I kind of liked my theory. I thought it was very fitting, but <laughs> anyways, so the theory really matches and that's what helped me 
come up with the design for this full moon cycle rock. Um, and so now what I'm doing is I'm making sort of like a little hill or a little mound of dirt that has been pushed away so that the worm can move out of the earth and gaze up at the moon. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm just doing um, a quick shading while the, uh, the paint is wet. So the brown that I'm using is called Cinnamon Brown by DecoArt. And I'm just adding white. I'm not uh, adding any other brown colors. I'm just adding white. And as I add the white onto the wet Cinnamon Brown paint, it slightly changes the color uh, to a lighter brown. So that gives me my highlights of the uh, mound of dirt that the worm has pushed himself through and uh, really gives it that 3D kind of look. Now I'm going back in with the same cinnamon brown with just the smallest dab of black mixed into it and I'm working it up from the bottom up so that the light comes from the top down because that's from the reflection of the moon and then it causes uh, shadows on the bottom so that's why I did it the way that I did and I do go in a little bit later and I give it a little bit more white highlights after it's dried a bit more um, and it's just to add that little extra uh, sort of light source or where the light is sort of gleaming on the high points of uh, the little uh, mound of dirt. And now for the worm. So worms are not cute. <laughs> worms are not uh, pretty. <laughs> right. Worms are worms. And um, I really struggled with trying to figure out how to make this guy look like a worm but still look cute. And I think I accomplished it. So worms are pink. Um, or they can be like really light pink or some of them can be like a brown pink or they're just, worms are not cute. <laughs> they're not pretty at all. Uh, so I'm just using uh, bubblegum pink from Deco Art, and uh, I'm just painting everywhere that is his body, his head, all of that stuff. And then I go in with this little sponge dauber and I add white while the pink is still wet. So this is another um, way that I can do my blending and do it quickly uh, because acrylic paint does dry fast. So um, it's good to do it right away. So I'm just dabbing on some white paint just to give uh, a little bit of a blend with the pink to lighten the color as well as to give it some shading um, and some light sources uh, and that sort of thing. So. Uh, it's just a very easy way to do this. And then I go back in with, um, this is Wild Berry by DecoArt that I'm using. Uh, and I'm just going in to add a little bit of shadow onto the back side of his head and sort of give him the roundness of where his head would be. And then I go in and I blend that. Now this is a blending brush that I got from Amazon. Uh, there is a link in my description below if you're interested in receiving your own. Um, I find that they work very, very well and uh, I use them uh, quite a bit, uh, but I try not to use them much in my tutorials anymore because I find that um, it really obscures what I'm painting uh, from you, the viewer. So I try to figure out other ways to blend so that you can see what I'm doing at the same time. So as I let that dry, I'm going to use my Glorious Gold Deco Art paint and I'm going to paint around the outside, which with the magic of my editing, I was able to fast forward that and it's done. So now that that's done and the worm is dry, now I've got to put on that little piece that seems to be like a little bit thicker than the rest of the worm and it's like a different color. Um, and I don't know what the sign, I don't know much about worms. I'm sorry. I know that they go well on hooks and they catch fish. <laughs> That's about all that I know about worms. Um, so, uh, that was his little, we'll call it a collar cause I don't know what else to call it, but yeah, his collar. 
And um, so I put that on letting it dry. Uh, also put use one of my dotting tools to put his eye on there. Uh, and now I'm just going in like I'd said earlier about the highlights on the mound of dirt that he pushed out of the way to sort of wiggle his way out of the earth. So uh, just adding and it's just white that I'm adding and just ever so carefully and with a very light hand um, to put the minimal amount of um, paint down and I'm doing both the top and the bottom and this is just to show like some light sources hitting the bottom of where the high points are of where the earth was pushed. Um, I I'm I even watching this while I'm doing my voice over here and I'm still in shock <laughs> that this was created by me only because I struggled with coming up with a, de a design for this one. Um, so I really hope you like it. Uh, if you do, give me the thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell because I post all sorts of different types of videos and you don't want to miss any of them. So ring the bell for that notification. Anyway, so um, yeah, I was uh, just very, very impressed with uh, how this little guy turned out. Uh, now I'm just uh, adding some black uh, to uh, outline him and uh, really give him some dimension and uh, make them look cute, even though worms are not cute. I know I've said that a few times now, but it's true. <laughs> and I do apologize for my voice. I'm just coming off the end of my cold. So uh, I'm hoping that this is it. It's done and I can move on to being a little bit more healthier and uh, my voice will sound a lot better. Um, so yeah, so I just go and I'm outlining him and uh, making him look adorable. Uh, give him his little mouth because he's really happy to be coming out of the earth after a long winter slumber and gazing up at that um, beautiful full moon, which, by the way, is going to be on March the 25th. And that is the day that I am posting this video. So if you are affected by the moon, uh, I know some people are. I am actually. I sometimes get bad headaches or I don't sleep well. Um, it, it's it's kind of amazing how the moon cycles affect uh, individuals in different ways. So leave me a comment below if the moon affects you in any way. Um, I love the moon. I love the um, the um, brightness of it uh, and the um, the glow that he it, it gives to the earth and when it's shining it's just very beautiful um, and it's the only time you get to see the stars is when the moon is out right so there you go uh, so there I put a pupil on them and then my black paint I added a little bit of water to make it sort of flow a little bit better and now he looks like he's got a black eye <laughs> so I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to fix it up. So in the meantime, I'm going to add gold dots all the way around that uh, gold border that I made or the frame. And I'm going to make sure that they all touch. And I will go back and I will fill in all of those little black triangles that are showing. Um, and I will do that very soon. Uh, but it's just something, it's a different type of, of uh, frame that I wanted to do and try out. And yeah, so uh, I really liked how it turned out. Here I am now, um, the beauty of editing and fixing up all of those little uh, uh, little triangles or little pieces of black that are showing through from the circles that I put, up, put on there. And then I really fill in as close as possible to the amount of earth to give it the illusion that the worm is on the outside of the frame so I think I captured that um, so now I'm going to go in I'm going to fix up his eye and really make it look um, a lot better and he doesn't quite have such a black eye but I will add a little bit of a um, bag under his eye because he's been in a long slumber and so he's just waking up and we got to make him look like he's he's groggy from sleeping so long and that's why I added that I thought it was cute 
And it also kind of goes with my whole theory of the worm moon. <laughs> Anyway, so um, I give him that little bag uh, under his eye. I give him an eyebrow and I also put a little white dot for accent on his eye. And there you have it, folks. Life is what you make it. So get creative. Mm -hmm.